Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. It is Friday, so that means it's another Coaster Friday, and today we are going to be making a Christmas coaster set. Hang on to your hats, it's going to be a little different than what we normally do. I started filming one where I painted on swirls to make the lollipops, but my swirls were awful, so that didn't happen. I knew that was not going to work out. Then I decided to experiment with a little polymer clay, and I figured I could definitely do that. Here's my experimental piece. I just had some old red and pink clay that I swirled together just to see if I could do it. So we're going to do lollipop coasters, and it's actually going to be a set, which would be a really great gift or be fun to have sitting on your side table as a decoration. And it's completely functional because it, they're going to be coasters. So I'm going to get to the polymer clay first, but I do have a piece of scrap wood. I went out to the garage, found a piece of 2x4 scrap wood, and it is by far not perfect. It's, um, you know, misshapen. Um, I took a sanding, a little sandpaper to it just to knock off any of the dust and spider webs and stuff, any super rough edges just because I wouldn't want to get a splinter. Other than that, it's just a rough 2x4 scrap and we'll come back to that later. But first we need to start working on our lollipops. To make this, I am going to use polymer clay. I have a red, I have a green, and I just went, I didn't go with a specific brand for any reason, I just went by color. And then I have, okay, so I have a red and a green and I have two whites. I'm going to start with the red and the white. I'm going to do half the red and half the white right off the bat, break it right in half. But I'll work with the white first before I open the red, just in case any of the color comes off in my hand. So I'm just going to knead it and soften it up a little. It's pretty soft right to begin with and not like it used to be way back when. And you can make these as thin or as thick as you want, but I'm going a little bit on the thicker side only because I want to put the stick in because obviously it's a lollipop. And what's a lollipop without a stick? Now I'm going to take half the red and I'm going to do the same thing. See the red will get on your hands and it'll rub off on the white clay. So you need to be kind of aware of that. They're pretty close in size. So what I'm going to do now is just lay them up right next to each other just like this. Squish them together. I washed my hands after the red because they got pretty red. And now I'm just going to start rolling them together just like this. And I'm going to create a new log. So now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start twisting it. You want to twist it and roll it. All right, I think I have it long enough and I'm going to, I'm going to cut off the end to kind of give it a cleaner end here and I'm going to start twisting. Now what I'm going to do is start a tight twist, okay, and it's going to stick to itself. You're going to need kind of a long workspace to work on this and I do have glitter stuck on here no matter what I do to get my table clean, I can never get it fully free of glitter. You just want to keep coiling it. I'm gonna pull it around, pull it around. And this end I'm just gonna kind of give it a pinch to taper it a little bit and put it on just like this. Now you want to smooth out any fingerprints or any nail prints or anything that you might have gotten on there. If you can pull the glitter off, I guess pull the glitter off, but it's kind of impossible. Now this is going to be a lollipop, so what we need to do is I'm going to use skewer sticks as the lollipop sticks. And where this piece ended is where I want to insert the stick. And I want to go in, kind of drilling it. And this is why you need it a little thicker rather than a little bit thinner because you want the stick to go in the clay not come out like the other side and you want to get it about to the middle to really make it secure on there. Just remember as you're swirling it remember to kind of press it together a little bit so you don't have any any gaps between the clay and press it down just gently 
just so that you have a surface where if you're putting a glass on there, it's not going to tip over and be uneven. I have my hunk of wood and I've drawn with a pencil where I think I want to have the lollipop sticking out of. And I'm going to go in on a little bit of an angle on all of them. Like the outside ones a little more and the inside ones a little bit, a little bit more straight but at a slight angle. And then we're going to have to decorate it. Normally when you're doing something, if you do like uneven numbers like a 5 or a 3, you kind of have a better display. But coasters typically come in a set of 4. So that's why I'm doing four, and we'll just have to figure out a way to decorate it and make it look nice. A tight fit is good, or you can glue it in, either or. But you do want it to be a tight fit, because really you're never going to be taking this part off. This will be staying in, and I'll cut them down to the right size once I know how high I want it when the lollipop tops are done. I have the lollipops placed in here, and it is a little unstable, but we're going to fix that. I cut the skewer sticks down to size and I'm going to paint those white and I'm going to paint the piece of wood red. And I'll just use regular acrylic paint. The block of wood has dried and now I'm going to do a little stenciling. So I dug through my stencils and I found my snowman from way back when and I used it, I think I used it last year. And I'm going to put that right in the middle. I taped off the parts that I didn't want to end up stenciling. Take my paint, load it up, take any of the excess off on a paper towel, and I hold this down. And then I'm just going to stipple. Okay, I'm going to peel it back, and now we have our little snowman. I'm going to let this dry before I do any more stenciling. Once that's dry, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to come back and stencil J on the one side and Y on the other and hopefully it'll look like joy and the snowman in the middle will look like an O. I painted the sticks white and I'm just going to put them into the holes with the pointy side down. Then I can add the lollipops. Now I have these in, the, the sticks are painted white. Now I would like to add a couple other things. I'm going to bake a couple of balls of white polymer clay and just glue them onto the front and the back because this is just a little bit shaky and those will add as stabilizers and I'm going to put a little glue and glitter on there so it looks like little snowballs are, and they're just helping them hold it up and then I'm going to add some other paint and glitter but I'm going to do those little snowballs first. Now I broke one thing of clay into four pieces so you'll get four balls about this size and I'm just going to kind of press it onto there and down. And I'll kind of try to give it a rounded shape a little bit again. So I'm going to continue doing that and then I'm going to bake them and we'll come back and attach it and finish our decorating. Now I'm going to take this, it's called the Slick Dimensional Fabric Paint, and I'm going to just kind of decorate and make it look like there's snow on here. But all you're going to do is kind of create this little snow effect. Now if you remember the gingerbread house, I did something very similar and so I put the snow on and then I'm going to throw a little bit of glue on there as well. So it gives it an icy snowy feel. Working on a tray so it'll pick up all of the glitter, or catch most of it, hopefully. Keep working. I pulled the little clay balls out of the oven and I'm going to do a combination of E6000 and hot glue so that the hot glue will hold it in place while the E6000 cures. So I'll do both of them right on there. And I'm going to go kind of right by the corner. Once these are stabilized and in place, I'm going to do the very same on these little snowballs that I did with the top of the base. I'm going to put that paint on there and I'm going to sprinkle it with glitter. Here it is all finished and I added little bows on there and put a little dab of hot glue so they would stay in place. So when you took it off, you'd still have little bows on the sticks. But you just take these off, use them as coasters, and when they're done, you can you know, wipe them down if you need to and put them back. Now, 
you can decorate this any way you want and probably I would do a fifth one in the middle but you could you know put a little penguin in there to help decorate it doesn't matter and you could even scatter these if you wanted like a bunch in one I mean you could put this one forward and one back you could easily have six to eight on one block of wood the only other thing I would suggest is if you wanted to seal the polymer clay you could and I would probably do that with the resin I would brush on some resin it would give it a shine if you wanted that look but the polymer clay is a non-porous material and you can wash it you know if it gets dirty you could just throw it in the sink wash it with a sponge you know and some soapy water and you're good to go dry it off plop it back on and it's fine so it's really just the look that you're going for so I hope you like it I hope you gave it a try and please let me know what you think in the comments below and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you like the craft. Happy holidays everyone and happy crafting. We'll definitely see you next time. Yeah.